Let me show you how I edited this picture that I took in my kitchen and made it into this using Lightroom Mobile on my phone. It's a free app. Uh, the first thing that was glaringly obvious is that this picture was way too warm. So uh, under the color settings, I went in and I lowered the temperature to make it more cool tone to cut out a lot of those yellows that you see. And then I needed to crop in a bit because I really didn't want my kitchen cupboards in the picture. This was going to be a cover for an Instagram reel, so I put it in nine by 16, so it would be the proper dimensions. Um, and then I went in and messed a little bit more with the light settings. So one of the things I use a lot is like shadows. Sometimes you lift them, sometimes you deepen them. Uh, I lifted them a little bit. And then the white setting I find usually helps me kind of flesh out my skin more. It makes my skin look a little bit more normal. I know a lot of times iPhones tend to overly brighten things. Um, and then I think I also hit the black setting just to deepen up some blacks. Let me see. Okay, so I mess a little bit more with the temperature. Again, trying to just get it to not look too terribly warm. Uh, and then I go in and I sharpen. So when I sharpen things, um, I use the masking section of Lightroom. So what that does is that shows you what sections of the photo are gonna be sharpened. Um, that was that black and white thing you just saw there. And then I use noise reduction, which kind of just goes in and softens things. And you don't want to do that too much because it gets a little bit too airbrush looking. Um, so you can also see there's the blacks that I went in. I did the blacks a little bit just to deepen things up. The before, you can see a huge difference, right? The before and after was so, so, so yellow. That was like morning sun. Um, and then I think I need to maybe crop it in a little bit more, tighten it up. I don't like that it's showing like so much of my sleeve and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that here in a second. Um, you can see I do a lot of minute like details. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, try to make it more of a, I don't know, close up shot. I'm gonna play around with the direction of the photo. Sometimes I like to flip photos upside down. It looks really pretty, but in this case, I'm just gonna go with this, um, especially since it shows the bottle and the brand name. So that was very ideal for the purpose I was using it for. So I'm just gonna line it up. I like to use the grid marks and then there you go, a few more little tweaks. <laughs> I'm forever tweaking this stuff. And then I'm just going to export it and save it to my phone. So here is the final photo.